hog getting lit up from a whole bunch of angles right now. Boom! We get the double kill. Very nice. Slicing those fast mirrors out of the sky. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man. We got the guy down low. Let's see if we can get this reload out and take him out. This fast mirror's going down. Boom, 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 boom. We got this guy. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods. This is Tony, and welcome to today's video. Today, we've got a brand new video for you guys. We have the old beauties, the old Zeus on a brand new robot. As you guys know, the past few weeks, I've really been diving in to either older weapons with newer robots or newer weapons with older robots i've been really 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 enjoying that you guys have as well so this time i have chosen the zeus i've been playing this for the past week or so getting footage for you guys testing it out um i came up with a couple of different setups which i actually uh, really started to enjoy so as you all know we have the Zeus on there for the modules we're using last stand two nuclear amplifiers and shield breaker so I'm using two nuclear amplifiers to fill it up quicker when I was using one it was just taking far too long to fill it up um, initially I was also using advanced repair um, to pair with the beat drone um, to get that 70% extra damage but the problem came in there all the damage doesn't impact instantly it happens like over a second or a second and a half so a lot of the times people's shields were popping up and i was losing out on like half my damage um once i switched to shield breaker that was not an issue anymore although my survivability went down my damage output definitely went up um on this one we are using the jad parks pilot um, I chose this one instead of the other one because we have that additional damage from the built-in weapon and that's actually helpful in a lot of situations to finish off kills if someone is very low instead of waiting for a reload. So on here we have Energy Shields Expert, Crazy Electrician, Wonder Worker, Dodger, Roadhog, Armor Expert, and Fool Hardy Quartermaster. I'm actually not even running Guidance Operator, which I probably should have, um, but I did not even do that. So just to go to show you guys, you don't always need that. Um, it is helpful for sure. You do get a quicker lock on, but it's not always necessary. And for the drone, we're going to be using the paralysis drone. We have a suppressor chip on there. On damage dealt damage, that is a BUT. And on module use damage. And last but not least, we have on mild damage absorber. Um, just to let you guys know, we still do have the Fafnir giveaway going on right now. I will put a picture and a link up in the top right corner so you guys know where to find that. And also, I do have the winners for the Cruel Orochi giveaway, so stay tuned for that as well. Without further ado, let's hop right into this gameplay and see how this bad Mamma Jamma performs out on the battlefield. All right, guys, here we are dropping into Dreadnought map. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys a few clips of this thing in action. And then um, for the last one, we'll, we'll show an entire gameplay um, start to finish using this robot in the hangar. Um, it is a very, very fun very effective in very specific situations uh set up here um i have really really been enjoying it like i said um i started off using the uh advanced repair i was pairing it with the beak drone two on repair unit damage one on repair unit defense um it worked really really well the issue i kept running up to is like i would shoot somebody but since the zeus doesn't deal all of its damage in one step instant when it first hits them it's like over like a second or a second and a half um i was triggering their purple shield and losing out on like half the damage so that's what made gave me the decision to uh, switch over to shield breaker and i'm very very glad i did now all that damage is able to slide right on through um this blitz is getting very very aggressive with us and this is the downside of running sniper setups you are going to be at a major major disadvantage um in close range combat luckily i was able to keep him outside of my shield um and this teammate came over here to assist a little bit that definitely helped out uh, we almost had him down but the hawk finished him off right there um you do have to wait for the reload which is five seconds and then the lock on timer um hopefully you know you're already locked on by the time you reload 
Um, so it's more a matter about positioning. And the reason I love the Erebus as a sniper is the built-in blackout ability. This thing you could shoot up to 800 meters and up and around cover. You cannot do that with the Typhon. You cannot do that with the Cerberus. This is very unique in that regard. And this is the only robot that does this. Um, with this specific setup, as you can see right here, let's see if we can take this dude out. Boom! We snipe that Fafnir right out of the sky. So a lot of the times what happens is if my nuclear amplifier is charged up um, and a enemy does not have a last stand, I'm able to one shot them. That's happened a few times. Most players are going to come against in Champion League and High Level Champion League. Everyone's going to have last stands. Um, I'm not lucky enough to get lobbies with people without last stands. I don't know how people do that. I don't know how people get that. Uh, but that's definitely not my experience with this game. And boom, we got another one. This thing is actually really, really great at taking down Fafnir's. And that's why I love it the most. Um, it's fun because it's a challenge, right? Like this robot has a shield. So 9 out of 10 times, the Fafnir you're facing probably has the speed to go fell off pilot, right? So he's going to be able to chop straight through your shield like it's not even there. So there's where the risk reward uh, factor comes into play. It's very risky but very fun and it pays off when it pays off and it pays off big when it does oh man and who doesn't love lightning bolts come on guys are you kidding me zeus the the lightning god the god of the skies himself casting lightning bolts down um if i was to adjust this robot at all i would probably give it a, t a tiny bit more damage and instead of the damage being dealt over like a one and a half second period I would have it instantaneous like like a regular sniper weapon would be like a gauss when a gauss hits you boom you're hit and you get the full damage with this it's almost like the calamity work but it does it quicker than the calamity if that makes sense all right guys now we are dropping into another map here we are on canyon and this is a beautiful a beautiful sniper's map um, let's see if we could get some opportune sniping moments happening here. Um, another good setup to use on this as an opening robot would be to use um, the Quantum. The uh, reason being is there's so many Orochis out there, and Orochis don't have much health. So it's honestly only going to take you one or two shots to kill most Orochis anyways. So I could see these weapons being very good for that. Um, I really, really, really have fallen in love with the older weapons in this game and the older robots in this game. I've been having a ton of fun recently. Um, actually, I, <laughs> I've been pretty, pretty much like for the past few weeks running nothing but older robots or older weapons. Um, I, it, it's something I've been really, really enjoying. Um, it's how, how I enjoy the game right now. Um, I don't know about you guys. You know, I'm. I'm kind of spoiled in a way where I have, you know, everything I could possibly want in this game. Um, I haven't been playing for a very long time like some people, so I missed out on all the old robots and all the old weapons. So I'm trying to relive them, I'm trying to experience them for myself, and I'm trying to make them um, viable and actually usable in the current meta. And it's really, really fun when you're able to uh, achieve that and make that happen. Uh, for example, the Cerberus setup, that Cerberus setup that I posted, I will put a uh, picture and a link up in the top right corner for those of you who didn't see it yet. Um, that thing is so much fun, and it's actually one of my favorite setups right now. I run that in my hangar all the time. Um, the Aljun Puncher, one of my favorite setups, run that all the time. Um, there's a ton of old robots and a ton of old setups that I use uh, quite frequently. As you all know, uh, people who've been around the channel... Um, when I started my channel for at least I would say the first six seven months I ran the Hellburner non-stop I ran it before it got all those buffs and stuff like that you know so I'm just you know I'm a huge fan of you know older robots and making them uh, viable in the current uh, meta you know that's kind of my thing that's what I really 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 enjoy the most you know all the meta 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 is great but it definitely gets bored after a period of time oh nice that was a nice snipe there geez louise papa cheese let's see if we can take this guy out too waiting for that reload backing on up backing on up come on baby lighten him up boom, 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 boom. nice two fafnirs back to back that's what i like to see that's what this baby is good for this thing is an awesome 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 fafnir hunter guy seriously 
Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to try to level these up or anything like that. I'm not telling you to do that. Um, but for, from my perspective and my standpoint, you know, it was worth leveling these up um, to show to you guys. You know, with the, the regular person who's trying to build a hangar, would I recommend these? Probably, you know, probably not. But if you had them, you could definitely make good use of them for sure. Ooh. All right, we're trying to back on up. Let's see if we can find another good target, man. These guys are cruising and perusing around. Oh, man, here's my favorite target, another fifth. Can I get... Oh, man, we target swapped. They target swapped on us. Targeting, why'd you do that to me? <laughs> you know what? The, the targeting mishaps never really bothered me so much. Now that I've been playing some sniper setups recently, that's when you really feel it the most. When you have that one second to hit that button and take your shot and targeting moves somewhere else, that is a huge, huge bummer, man. Huge, huge bummer. All right, now, this is going to be the full gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, guys, dropping into factory map, one of my favorite maps, brawling map, but I don't think this is going to be a good map for this sniper setup. Let's see if we can make something happen here. So we are cruising. We are perusing. We're moving on up, moving on up. We're trying to catch all these people moving to this top beacon. There's no reason for me to move up all the way and put myself in danger, so I'm using my range to my advantage. Um, it seems like we have a Fenrir there. Um, it's going to take us a while to whittle him down, um, but I think we could do it. As we saw right there with two shots, we're able to get him down about 10-15%. Um, we're going to continue chipping away at him and see if we can take him down all the way. That, that would be interesting, and it's uh, helping fill up my uh, nuclear amplifier as well. All right, we get another shot on this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can lock him down and blast him with a shot out of the sky. Come up. Oh, yes. We got the kill. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, let's see. Hitting him with that ability. Locking him down. Suppressing him. Trying to blast him. Boom. We're, we just keep laying into this dude, laying into this dude, laying into this dude. We're going to try to take him down all the way. Nice. Got him locked and suppressed again. Let's see if we can creep around this corner and tag him with a shot. Oh, man. Targeting is being wonky on me. All right. Here we go. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. All right. This time I'm going to use... Oh, someone took him out. Very nice there. All right, let's use this shield breaker. Let's see if he can drop. Nice. We got him down to last stand. Um, that's his first robot, I believe. It looks like he's in the same. Yeah, he's in the same robot he's been the whole time. All right. Let's get that thing on him. Oh, so close. I think this next shot should do it. Holy cow. This will be crazy if we... Oh, someone else snagged the kill. We worked on that Fenrir forever with this thing. That's like the last robot in the world that you want to go after with these with these weapons, by the way. I would not recommend it. <laughs> nice. We get the double kill from across the map. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. When I see Fafnir's man, my eyes light up. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, he dropped back down. Trying to select my target. Trying to use this cover here. All right, boom. Oh, he was just behind that cover, man. We ended up missing all those shots. Oh, boy, we got a Revenant. Oh, geez, we did a decent amount of damage to him. All right, let's lock and suppress. We can't heal. Nice, nice, nice. We're just chipping away at this these two tanks over here. First it was a Fenrir, and now it's a Revenant. Just chipping away, whittling away. I'm actually really shocked um, that these are working against those tanks like that. It's a good thing, though. I would not recommend it, but if, if you're in a pinch, nice. We get the triple kill. Oh, no. We got the scorpion. He's on us, man. He's on us. Oh, we must have killed that guy a couple times. He was angry. He came after us. We got to try to take him out. That's the one thing scorpions can take out. Oh, Rampage, Rampage, Rampage from across the map. Those, those Fafnirs, oh, man, they don't want nothing to do with this setup. If you guys noticed from this video, man, the, the most robot I think we've been killing is the Fafnir. So I would say this is a very fun and very effective Fafnir counter if you have the patience to want to use a sniper setup. Oh man, super low health. Let's hit him with that ability. See if we can finish him off. Boom! We get the godlike. That is what I'm talking about, baby. 
the lightning god Zeus himself getting the godlike with the Zeus weapons. Love to see it. All right, so now we were messing around with that sniper setup. Kind of let the uh, enemy team get a advantage on us with the beacons and positioning on the map. Um, they have a very, very strong presence at center beacon right now. They are blasting away at me with two luchadors. Um, let's see if we could turn the tide of this battle because as of right now, um, they have control of it and this could get out of hand quickly if we don't hurry up and um, get a hold of this match. Um, that's why I typically don't like to run sniper setups in high level champion league. Uh, for the simple fact is the enemies you're going to be facing are so so strong and so competitive and they play so fast they're not going to allow you to snipe um, you may get a kill or two off on them but they are going to rush at you super super fast and make you pay for it um, so most of the time running sniper setups in high level champion league just ends up being a detriment uh, to your team we get taken out there but our mission was a success we drew some attention away um, allowed our team to spread up on the map a little bit and um, we mix things up Let's see if we could take this luchador out really fast come on baby one more shot boom we get the titan slayer that's what i'm talking about waiting for that healing you no know, shield to come down very very nice moving on up moving on up moving on up now my objective here is to take center beacon and hopefully if i can taking this fafnir down Come on, baby, blasting them away, burning them up with those cinders, double kill, that is what I'm talking about. All right, getting back on this beacon, we're going to hit our shield um, so that Ao Ming reflects most of the damage back to himself. Oh, we get taken out. Oh, man, a hair short of capturing that center beacon. I sacrificed my titan for that. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Boom, we got the kill. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we are going to be making our way, making our way over to center. But we got to watch this Orochi Skidochi. He's going to try to slide into our bottom home beacon. We can't let that happen. Oh, man. Goes into another ability. Let's see. Let's see if we can turn around and take him out really quickly. One more ability. Hopefully, after this one, we're able to take him away. Uh, let's try to focus on this Ming Ling Ling really quickly. Let's see if we can make something happen. He's firing at us. So we're going to go ahead and press our ability to break his target lock. So he has to reacquire um, and do that lock on time once again. Come on, baby. Oh, man. I wanted to take that Orochi out. He slid behind the corner. That purple shield really saved him in that in that instance. All right, we're going to go off into our flight and keep ourselves low so we can capture this beacon uh, with that little pillar, that little crane thing. Boom, we get the double kill. That Orochi ended up killing himself, which is very nice. And we captured their bottom home beacon, which is a huge, huge success. We were having trouble getting that top middle beacon. Um, so I, I wanted to go for this one um, just to switch things up because it seemed like a tough one. And now I have their attention over here. So hopefully my teammates continue to play aggressive and try to capture that top uh, center beacon. Um, that's what you want to do. Um, if, if you can't get a beacon, if you find it too difficult to get, um, don't just keep throwing robots and running into your own death. Um, switch up your tactics. You know, you really, you know, I don't have plans or I don't have like, you know, set out things that I do in a match. Um, I more or less play to the enemy's strength or weakness. I go off of what they're doing. Um, I find it like, you know, it's just a more organic and fun experience, you know, because the old saying goes, all best plans fall to the wayside once things hit the fan and things always do hit the fan. That is for certain. I got to watch out. I don't want to charge that guy's shield up, but it looks like one of my teammates may have so I'm going to wait till his shield drops and try to finish him off. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, no. Oh, man, this Ravana. I wanted to finish that Fafnir, but that Ravana got in there. Let's see if we can drop this guy to last stand at least. Come on. One more little pelt. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Let's zoom in on him. Let's try to take him out now once his last stand. Oh, man. Purple shield saves him. Let's see if we can finish him off now. Oh, we got the reload. The timing, man, the timing. This guy is getting so lucky with timing right now. And boom, we get the triple kill. That is what I'm talking about. All right, we have 
three robots to their two. It looks like we got control of the beacons and control of the match. Now it's time to just seal the deal if we can. Oh, man. Oh, man. Another Fafnir. Let's go in. Get in close. Nice. We dropped him down to the last stand. That's why I love those punchers, man. Up close and personal. There is nothing better in the game. And we end up pulling off the victory, surprisingly. Usually, if you run a sniper setup to start off in a brawling map, you are in a ton of trouble. But we were able to pull it off. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. 6.1, 13 kills, one beacon. Not too shabby. Appreciate you guys so much. I hope everybody has a great day and keep coming back.